Hey howdy hey, my name's Astrobex. How you guys doing? And I'm here to review the Hofner Shorty. Now you're probably looking at this thing like, is this like a toy or something? Is this like some sort of small baby guitar? No, this is a travel guitar. And I wanted to get one of these because I thought it'd be handy to have a guitar to take to my friend's house, to take to my course, to take anywhere. Because I never really fancy taking something like my Ibanez Jam. I wouldn't really want to take this on the bus or to travel with this and put this in a case. Jeez. I love it too much! Or my rear Ibanez 370DX with the rubber body. This has a rubber and clay body. You can't get this anymore. I do not want to break it. So I thought for the convenience of taking to people's houses and just something to keep in my little studio area here when I'm not really worrying about, you know, just playing around and stuff. Or something I can just like take downstairs in the living room and just like strum some stuff on there. I thought that'd be fine. But this was actually surprising <laughs> because I wasn't expecting the quality and the sound and the design of everything to be so... Yeah, I, I know it's like the like it's a weird design because the body is so small. I mean, like the size of my hand compared to the body, <laughs> it's kind of really weird. So I was thinking to myself, one thing I wanted to get a travel guitar, and also I wanted to experiment. Does having a bigger and heavier body make anything difference to tone and sustain? Because as we all know, if you have like a Gibson Les Paul or some crazy heavy body, you get lots of sustain out of it, and different words, different tones, that sort of thing. But as you can see from this. <laughs> I'm not really worried about the tone. Because <laughs> everyone says the travel guitars, they sound really thin, they sound brittle, but I don't know what pickup this is. Let me just check online. All it says is that it's a Hofner open humbucker. That's not a lot of help to me. There's no pickup selector, there's no, there's just one volume, one tone. That's all you need when you're traveling. Well, what surprised me is the build of it. I mean, looking at this, you think this is quite small, but this is actually the average size of a neck. This is a 24 and 3 quarter neck scale, which I've usually preferred it. I've, I've had some other guitars in the past where I've actually preferred it. The neck scale is fine, the intonation is fine, it stays in tune all the way to the top. So there's that. It's got these 18 to 1 ratio Grover tuners, which is, I didn't expect that on a travel guitar. They started making these back in the 80s when there was that time when like guitarists couldn't be without their guitar on holiday and stuff like that. I'm one of those people. They take my guitars everywhere. I will say the only drawbacks I have with this guitar is, it, it, it's just to do with the weight ratio, because like, if you relax it, Turns out this little neck droop. No matter what happens, it's just the way the guitar is designed. But what you can do is rest your hand on the bridge like this and then it just sort of stays there. It's totally fine. It, it, it takes five minutes to get used to. Or you can do what I've started doing and start wearing a strap with it. Like doing this solves a lot of the problem as well. I mean, if you're, if you're okay wearing straps or something. Like right now, I just want to run through like what it sounds like. I'm running straight through my bias effects software, going straight into like a little Marshall amp that I have here. I don't use pedals or anything. All my stuff is just done through computer now, which is kind of crazy. I may actually do a review on bias effects. Comment below if you would actually need to go through some of that and if it's worth getting. Okay, so first we're just gonna go through some clean sounds, just so you, just, you know get an idea of like without any distortion, no rock stuff. It's really nice it's, it feels full sounding but like by the way this guitar only cost me 80 quid <laughs> and that's ridiculous I mean I would prefer getting this over like a beginner's pack with all the amps and stuff. just get all the amps but the guitar in a beginner's pack is always kind of meh so getting this would be a much better improvement we've got a 24 fret scale so you got two octaves to work with which is awesome I, I think most I think all my guitars are 24 fret I don't think I've ever had one that's less than that <laughs> and if you can get around not having a, a pickup selector you're fine too I mean it's full enough but it's also warm enough that you could do your you know you can do your runs and melodies and stuff like that well having to be like the overshadowing Okay, I'm gonna use a um, bias effects preset that I've made already, and it's one that's got a lot of echo, just to give you an idea of like the room and the ambience that the pickup can give. I wish I knew more about this pickup, but I don't, I'm so sorry.
And what's surprising is that like the access to the neck feels fine despite having a low body. Like you think with a lack of body there, that would feel different and like harder to get to hard, like higher notes and stuff, but it feels totally fine. And the cool thing about like having a guitar like this with a small body, you could even get something like a small little Marshall stack, you know, clip that on your belt. You guys have real fun with that. Right now we're gonna get into the rock stuff because I think that's what everyone wants to see what it sounds like with the humbucker and everything. So I'm gonna use a preset that I've made and I'm gonna just jam with it for a little bit. Well, actually, the first thing I should mention is about the sustain, because I was worried about the body being so small that the sustain wouldn't be any good. I think that's not a problem. That's actually surprising for a little guitar like this to be able to hold notes like that. It's actually surprising that this little tiny body and this pickup can get that kind of sustain. I'm actually genuinely surprised because I always have this assumption that tiny bodies and cheap pickups aren't going to do it, but this is, this is a cheap guitar but it's not built cheap, the quality is there. And that's really surprising. And it's not just feedback, I am actually controlling it. Obviously doing your palm mood stuff is gonna be, you know, fine. I don't really think I can think of anything really wrong for, as this as a travel guitar. Obviously, it's going to be different than playing a real size body guitar, but in terms of the quality of materials going into this thing, I'm genuinely surprised. And even surprisingly, it's set up out of the box pretty great as well. The action, from what I can see in here, is pretty accurate. It's just everything's fine with it. You can do your power chords and whatever. You can do your bends and your blues and stuff. You can do your shred. It's genuinely surprising. I don't know how to go about like thinking of anything really wrong. Oh, forgot about this. Hold on. It comes with a little gig bag. How cool is that? It comes in its own size. That's genuinely cool because this one fit a traditional um, guitar case because it's too small. But like, well, in terms of body and moving around because of the lack of body, but to have your own little case, that's really cool. And it came with like a free strap and everything. And it came with a cable and a tuner and a Allen key. It was great. But yeah, this is like, I, I can imagine people taking this to like, I don't know, Comic-Con conventions and things like um, festivals and download and things like that. And just like, oh, places where you're having a party and you don't really want to, you know, lug your entire gear over. You can just get your little mini amp, something like this, and then, you know, play one of these and just, you know, just, r just riff out. It's one of those things that's just for fun. I may even record something with this because even though it's for fun and like, it still sounds good. It's like... Getting like your squeals in there from the pickup. It's just like <laughs> it's ridiculous. 80, 80 pounds. I think about a hundred dollars. If you if you look at something that's just a piece of fun, and maybe you like I don't know you don't we want something that's easy to travel with, and you just want something that's just simple to keep in your house and not worry about people breaking your other guitars or your expensive stuff, and you want something that's just cheap and affordable but still sounds massive. <laughs> Just get one of these, because <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description where I got mine from, um, and it's just, just get one. You can get them in different colors. You can get it in black, you can get it in red, you can get them in blue, you can get them in green. I think there's some rare ones in pink, which is awesome. I think the only problem, I, like, I wish I was a, a pickup selector and I never pick up, but I can see, due to cost, why they would take that out, so that's fine. The bridge is this massive, beefy thing. I love it, because it's like, you can rest your hand on it really easy to do it <laughs> Like it's not in the way of like palm muting as well, as well as doing anything else, and it stays in tune. Like everything about 
everything about this guitar I like. If I was to take this to a friend's house and jam like with a, like drum machines or whatever, you could probably hook this up to your phone if you got something like Amplitude on your phone and just run around town having fun with these sorts of things. This would be good for busking and just like playing with friends. Just just get one. Just, just, even if you don't need it, just get one. <laughs> so I'm going to do a video now just sort of demonstrating that you can use this in terms of chords, in terms of melodies, in terms of soloing and shredding, because it's surprising. <laughs> it's generally surprising. So thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you really liked it, I guess you could comment or subscribe and share this with all your friends if they're guitar players. <laughs> uh, my name's Astrovex, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye!